Right. Welcome everybody to another episode of the Simp Boat. You know we're doing it live here on on Twitch. So if you're listening to this on Spotify, you can follow our Twitch at at the underscore Simp underscore Boat. Hopefully we get lots of people this time around. All right. So today we have we have our special guest today, Brandon. Would you mind introducing us to our guest? Uh, today we have Isaac and I's uh, great friend Min Tran with us today. Hi guys. And I think to start off the episode, we're just gonna go ahead and she's gonna she's been listening to the podcast, but she's never met Hector or Krishna, so she's gonna try to match the voices based off what she's heard off the episode previously. So every single podcast, the entire podcast, might I add. Uh, one of our dedicated Ooh, our dedicated viewers. Dedicated viewers. <laughs> She she doesn't know our names by the way, so she's not she's never seen us, so she so she doesn't know what like, I mean I guess she could, she can match the voice to the name, but she's never seen our face, so she has to match the name to the face. Basically. Yeah. All right. Hey, you're Hector, the one that just spoke is Hector. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, now only <laughs> Christian at this point. Yeah. All right. You know. Oh, oh, actually, before we say anything, I just want to say, I'm proud of us. We got over 300 listens this past week. In total, so. Give it a round of applause. Also, Brandon mentioned I think we made over two dollars finally, so we each get fifty cents now. Yeah, I don't know about that one. I don't know uh, about that. One. Well, you guys got a dollar like the last one, right? Didn't you guys have like a dollar? <laughs> yeah. yeah, like 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 ten episodes ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it only took us 10 episodes. Isn't this our tenth episode? Um, I think so. Yes. Wow. I mean, I know we're on we're ten episodes deep. And how long have we been doing this? Like. 10 divided by 4? Like 6 months almost? Have we? 6 we months? Really? <laughs> no. Actually, no, we haven't. No. I mean, because we tell you, it was an idea and over over the summer. Two and a half. Two and a half. I think three months, months at max. Three months max? Yeah, I think we've been doing this like three months. But, I mean, it's, it's always... It's been exciting. You're, like, you're the only person I know besides another friend of mine. Where, actually, look, let, me check, let me check the stats. Because he sent it to me on on Discord, where he sent me, like, his Spotify rap, and he showed me how many minutes, like, he had listened to us. Wait, who? Um, a, a friend of mine. His name is Eddie. Oh. You guys don't know him personally, but uh, let me let me bring up the let me bring up the stat he showed me. So, his top podcast was The Simp Boat, and he listened, he listened to three episodes for a total of 143 minutes. Dang. Well, yeah. our Spotify rap was a total of Five ep- over five episodes, we released 281 minutes of content. 281. Yeah, so, so he listened to like, I think awesome. maybe like half. I, I, I'm, I'm terrible at math. Let me do the quick maths. Quick maths. That's uh, 143 divided by what? 281? Uh, that is like, yeah, around 50%. Wow, so yeah, like, uh, our two of our dedicated fans. We should, we should have Eddie on our show next. You guys don't know the person. Be It'd be a great, but today, oh, hold on, hold on. okay, Brandon, <laughs> okay, how do you pronounce your first name again? I'm so sorry. Today, okay, Brandon. Wait, what? <laughs> her name? Yeah, her name. Oh, My Min. Let's go. Wait, what? Min. Min, okay. Yeah, yeah I, I, I don't want to pronounce it, pronounce it again correctly. Wait, why am I saying it? You should be saying it, Min. It's not my name. <laughs> So, so men, so men, like, like, you know, tell us a bit about yourself. Um, so I'm 19. I used to go to Concordia with Isaac and Brandon, but now I'm back home in Hawaii because of Corona. Oh, oh yeah. How do, how do you how do you end up in Concordia all the way from Hawaii? Okay, so I already knew that I wanted to leave Hawaii because it's so small. It's just a rock in the middle of nowhere. So <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, well, I like California. Let's try California. Then I looked up um, universities in Irvine because I heard it was like um, a safe place. And then I saw like Concordia was, you know, like a private school and it gave a lot of money. And I knew I wasn't smart enough to get into UCI. So... Oh. <laughs> oh, man. No, no, no. Trust me. If, if Christian could get in, anybody could get in. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Anybody could get in. Trust me. From what I've seen. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, literally, they they're letting in anyone at UC. Shit, they let they let me in at UCLA. <laughs> I 
I mean, I, and I got pretty lucky because I'm not even a STEM major. So, I mean, if I was, yeah. I mean, I probably would for sure take it, get inside. Oof. Oh, yeah, STEM major, biology, like Christian. Oh, man. Oh, uh, oh Christian, we, we, our, our second, our, one of our second guests is also a biology major, Christian. Oh, yeah, Paula was a biology major, too, Paula right? Paula was a biology major. Yeah. We, we still won't discuss the reason why, why Christian got into biology in the first place, but you know that are always I mean, well, what's the main reason people usually go into biology become a nurse but but we all know the reason why you should go. <laughs> whoa a nurse nurse doctor pre-med yeah yeah basically tomato tomato <laughs> christian i didn't forget i'm not i'm, I'm not gonna say you're live christian but i didn't forget what forget what <laughs> don't worry about it don't worry about what the beans no 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 wow <laughs> but but I like, but but prior to coming here to Irvine, like going back to Irvine, like had you ever been to California before? No, oh, it, no, actually no. Like I've no. heard about California, but like it sound it sounded nice and like it was big and it was closer to home. Like it was far away, but it wasn't as bad as like other states. Yeah, like I mean, like, I mean, like I don't know, like I mean, like Hawaii's like I'm pre- like Hawaii's between like pretty much California and like Japan, right? Yeah, no, like Hawaii's pretty similar, but like it's just small. Mm. Like I liked how big California was. Mm. And like yeah, I mean like yeah, there were like places I haven't even gone yet. Yeah, like like California's pretty big that you could just kind of just escape anywhere and never see the same people again. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, like, would you like? I would, I would assume you can't do that in Hawaii. Like, like, you pretty much grew up with the same people. Mhm. Yeah, and sometimes like you go to parties, and then you think, "Oh wait, he's kind of cute," and then you'd be like, "Oh hey, are we cousins?" Oh. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yeah, That's- like, hey, I think you're like related to me. Like, our parents are da 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 da. I'm just like, oh. Never been like, I, I, are you sure? Are you sure from Hawaii? It sounds more like Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. It's pretty but, bad. You just you like know pretty much everyone. Yeah, like I mean, like I don't know, like I I never see the same two faces here in Los Angeles, like ever. Like it's very rare that I see like the same person like more than once here in Los Angeles, and it's, and there's like it's because there are already people I know, but I haven't seen in like years. Like, I, do you guys have any stories like that? Like, you guys, like, like, um, you're the guys here, like, where you've just ran into people that you haven't seen in forever here in LA? Uh, a couple of times. Usually it's like with people I played, like, like in teams with. Like, previously, and I lost contact with them. And then it's like a couple of years later, it's like, I think I recognize them. And then when I approach them, it's like, maybe it's just like catching up on like years that we haven't seen each other. It's like, I don't know, it's like, like for me, it's like this happened to me like twice in, in the same summer, like when I was working for LA Metro, where basically what, what it was is that um, I'm pretty sure you know this one. Yeah. Well, you both, both know both. So like I saw Big Chris's son, like like in downtown LA, we were getting on the same bus. And like I looked at him, and then he looked he looked down at me, and he looked down at me again. It's like, hey, little Hector. And I'm like, hey, ben, hey, little Chris. I was going to like, like, I hadn't seen that man since four years. Like I thought he was still in Minnesota or something. Oh man, St. John's, St. John's, and then and then and then I'm pretty sure you know who Victor, uh, uh, Victor E. He used to play soccer. Yeah, it does ring a bell. It does ring a bell. Uh, uh, well, I mean, you could bleep out his name in post, but but. No, I still don't know. Oh, okay. Well, well, we went we went to middle. Wait, wait, Isaac, do you remember him? We went to he went to middle school with us. Like he yeah, he went to our middle school. He was a he was a year older. Yeah, so and then he went to Verb too. So and I saw him like literally on on like on the metro train, getting off the same stop as me. I tell you, like I I'm, I'm a magnet for these kind of things. <laughs> Dude, I just got the best audio, and he's talking the least. I got oh, the yeah, best I, audio. Audio is so good. I mean, I'm just doing it on my phone. Ah. Oh. Wait, wait, wait! What what phone are you running right now, Isaac? Oof, it's Man, it's oh, banned right? in the U.S. It's the, oh, the, the, <laughs> it's the Huawei P30 the Pro. That gets Isaac we have to blur out, blur out his face now before the government. <laughs> I also got a, a band watch. 
Dude, bad uh, what? A smartwatch. Where, where do you even get these things from, Isaac? Oh, you know, on, on online, on the dark web. <laughs> I'm just kidding, just kidding. Um, on, actually, Wait. on Amazon.com, just. Can you say fake? Like, have, but speaking of, like, have you guys ever been on the dark web? I mean, have you ever been on the dark web before? Does anyone want to incriminate no. themselves? <laughs> okay, no, no, no. I mean, okay, like, I, 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 I personally haven't been on the dark web, but there was like one time when I was in middle school and I saw um, my, my one of my friends' bro- older brothers. He was on the dark web, and he showed us some pretty interesting stuff. <laughs> wait, what? Do you, oh, wait, okay. What do you guys mean by dark web? Like, like, what is that? Okay, so pretty much like the dark web is like stuff. So pretty much like everything you see on Google and stuff. That's like the internet you could see. That's like the one percent. Uh-huh. The dark web is like the other ninety nine percent that you don't see. And so, like, you need like you need special browsers to access. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the, the internet's huge. Like, and he like so apparently like in the University of North Carolina, there's like un- underground tunnels that are secret, and like, they do like cultish stuff there apparently. And then there's like then you show this other stuff where it's like how to make a bomb. <laughs> Like, like it's crazy what you find on the on the deep web, but like, 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 like if if you, if you can think of it, it's 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 on the deep web, essentially. So it's like anything's on there, basically. Much. And anything that's illegal is probably on, probably on the deep slash dark web. Hector's phone number, his address. Yeah, actually, yeah, <laughs> that, that, that's on there. Like all of our information is on there, for for anyone to buy. You, you can even buy a hitman on there for, oh, if, you, if you really wanted to. <laughs> like the, the only rules they have that I remember, like you know, like he actually went on the website, is that they won't attack anyone who's under fourteen, and and anyone who's like a top ten politician. Oh, suddenly I'm fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm fourteen. Actually, that was like that was like a big fear of mine. Like like that's why like after I turned fourteen, I'm like I can't. I can't have anyone hate me so much that they would hire hitmen on me. Oh it's because I'm fair game. I'm not. <laughs> it's either it's either I be nice to everybody or become a top ten politician, <laughs> which basically means a president of the United States and, and most places in Europe and uh, probably like Japan and China. <laughs> but all right, all right. So so Brandon, so like you know, as I mentioned to you before we begin the show, you pretty much get a hard carry of the show. Like I I I came with little preparation, so like I'm letting you take. The sh- I'm letting you take the reins of the show for once. Well, I mean, let's just start with our um, weekly our weekly mental oh, yeah, health checks, ahead, honestly. Right. Weekly mental health check. Brandon, you go first. Um, I'm doing okay. I'm in isolation right now, so, so it's not like okay. really oh, different. Is that why you guys are on different screens? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that's why, me and Isaac aren't, that's why me and Isaac aren't together right now, because... He's in the room, like in the suite we live in, but I had to move buildings and rooms because I had COVID-like symptoms. But it, on the rapid test, I tested negative, so right now I'm just waiting on the other results to confirm if it was negative so I can get out of here. But they said at max it can take four to five Ooh, days. So I just got to get there. The only, ben- the only benefit is that they bring the food to me so I don't have to leave my room. And then I got my boy Isaac. Wait, are you there. like, are you feeling, what building are you in? I'm oh, in you're right a now. freshman. <laughs> yeah. Where he belongs. But it's like, I get, I get my own, I get nice, my own suite. Nice. Wait, 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 I wait, 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 so how big is the suite, like, over there at Concordia? I mean, it's, it's for four people. I don't know. Like, two on each side. Ooh. It was pretty big, especially for, like, freshmen. Or... Yeah, so it's like me and Isaac share the suite, so he's on one side. I'm on the I'm I'm on the other side. Oh, okay, so 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 that kind of brings me like to like brings brings up a question I have for you. Like, how's the whole COVID situation in Hawaii? Because like here it's like you know like we're connected to the mainland. Like everyone's like obviously always freaking out because like you know especially here in California because people are always coming and going. But like I I have not heard anything from Hawaii and or Alaska. Um, <laughs> there's no one in Alaska. <laughs> so in Hawaii, like it's obviously not as bad compared to California, but because we're such a small state and there's not really like any place to go, you could literally travel like drive around the whole island in like four or five hours. So like, it's a small place and it's a lot easier to like transmit the disease. So 
Mm -hmm. I've been in like, just like quarantining, just like staying in my room and I haven't gone out in a while. It's like, it's so easy to get the disease, you know? Yeah, I mean, it really is. I mean, I mean, like, 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 like someone could literally just talk in your direction yeah. and you'll, you'll get COVID. That's crazy. Cause I literally like, I haven't, I've yet to hear it. Like, I mean, I usually keep up with the news about the whole COVID situation and I, I literally don't hear anything about Hawaii. Like, like Kauai is just like in their own little world. They're in the middle, in the middle of the Pacific. Yeah, no, we only have numbers, but it, it's obviously not as bad as you guys. Oh yeah, I mean LA. I think literally, literally, just like, um, like the whole like Gavin Newsom thing where you like he, he put the he he, he he put down this. Uh, God, I cannot talk. You know. He like he put down the he put down the he put down the down the. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, right. you stay at home. <laughs> no, he put down the yeah, the stay at home order again. So I mean, like we're literally like, going back to where we were like in March, like which is crazy to me. No, no, no. you're bad. We're in Orange County. <laughs> we don't fight. Oh yeah, or like Orange County. Was, like literally Orange County when the whole COVID thing was going on, they were still like everyone was still like without masks, just eating eating everywhere. Orange County's on fire right now, man. <laughs> you guys deserve it. Okay, no, no, no. Yeah. I, I don't want to get canceled. It was a joke. It was it was it was a joke. Anyone from Orange County. I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, all right. What's your guys' mental health? Oh, yeah. I, oh, yeah. We completely week. went over that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, how, how, how about we have men go there? Um, I'm doing okay. Just, you know, a little stress from school because it's almost finals week. Yeah. If I don't pass these exams, I don't pass the classes. So same yeah, yeah. Well, and, I and then i you know just got just got through a covid scare so you know i'm i'm chilling okay. covid scare that 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 brings me back <laughs> <laughs> all right uh isaac I mean, is it really worth an update if, like, I'm the exact same as last week? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like I, I think part, one of the things oh. we're going to make now is just, like, a chart of, like, you know, Isaac's, like, <laughs> Isaac's, like mental health. I think all you're going to see is, like, a straight line. You're going to go from here to here. <laughs> it's going to be, like, a straight line down. I think it's a straight line. No, I just think it's because he misses me. I know. I know. I know. Isaac, yeah, you could have said that. Like, it's gone down because you miss Brandon. I don't think it's that. Like the first few days, I've been productive, oh. surprisingly. Okay. It's only been one day. What are you talking about? The well, first basically, well, one day is it? Like three? What? You, didn't you move like on Monday? No. Tuesday. Tuesday. It feels Tuesday. longer. <laughs> Tuesday. Oh, man, he, he really misses you. He really. I don't Mama. think it's this that. Guy, this guy blames me for his procrastination as if it's my fault holding him back from writing his thing. <laughs> when he tells he t- if he if he has a paper due Friday, he tells me Monday, Oh, I gotta work on the seven page paper. Tuesday, I gotta work on the seven page paper. <laughs> Come Friday night, he's like just working on it till like eleven AM. I mean eleven PM. <laughs> but the whole week he was just watching YouTube, offering up a theme song. <laughs> Yeah, once you left, I got productive. I finished like most of my homework. You know, Brandon's the problem here. Brandon's the problem. No, no, no. Isaac's his own problem. I've even had Isaac. time to finally watch Netflix. <laughs> he, had finally, he, had, he had time to watch the Netflix once he didn't have to do the seven page essay. <laughs> yeah, that you were keeping him from. Exactly. So basically, by that logic, you kept him from Netflix. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, Isaac, what did you do for Thanksgiving? I went home. Oh, yeah. And, okay, what, what'd um, you do? <laughs> oh, yeah, because he wasn't there when he was there for. Oh, yeah. Oh, what's it called? I went home. None of my sisters were there, so that's pretty good. Oh. They all went to Mexico <laughs> with, my, with my mom. And it was just me and my dad. It was, like, pretty relaxing. It wasn't, like, an actual vacation. <laughs> You know, basically, basically, like, I, as long as Isaac's sisters aren't around, like Isaac is happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. So, so I, 
So for anyone who, who who wasn't there last last week or hasn't listened to or hasn't listened to the previous episode, Isaac, we missed Isaac last week in our Friendsgiving episode, Friendsgiving slash mukbang episode, <laughs> where we talked about only controversial topics. Not even. I mean, there were like two, there were like, like one, one or two controversial topics. I mean, I mean, we we can't overwhelm the audience. <laughs> like, oh, I feel like a sensory overload, but. You know, I'm, but speaking of procrastination, I'm going to pass the mic for the mental health check to my favorite procrastinator, Christian. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, well, I mean, my daily mental health check would practically be the same as Isaac's. The only difference <laughs> would just be me working and, you know, pulling shit out my ass when, when it comes to work. <clears throat> Especially because this is, what, the second to last week before finals, Hector? Yeah. Right? Yeah. I, I mean, I have, I have like a five-page paper due on Monday, so I'm gonna do it Sunday night. You know, <laughs> I mean, you already <laughs> yeah, I already have my schedule. I mean, it's not fine. Five pages isn't. I know. No, you can get that done is it double phase? I'm sorry. Is it double phase? Yes. Oh, you're chilling. Mm-hmm. You're chilling. You're chilling. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. <laughs> It's like it's like Christian, Christian, and like you know, doing stuff like when when it's doing Monday night and he's doing a Sunday night. It's like the equivalent is like for anyone who watches football. It's like it's like you know, it's Aaron Rodgers clutching in the fourth quarter, <laughs> the time, time running down, and he just chucks up a hail mary. Yeah, I mean, has it failed me? I'm a, I'm in UC Irvine. I mean, they they, they should have known from like the pieces of work from my grades, but <laughs> has it failed me? Not yet. And then when right. the day comes, I will tell it on the podcast, which will probably be you know, like. Like like for instance, like like you know, for, for, any, for anyone who's from UCI admissions listening, you still have a chance. You still guys still have a chance to you know, t- take it back. Yeah, yeah, let's just say maybe in uh if if, if all goes bad, I'll be seeing uh Brandon next fall. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be moving across town. <laughs> across the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Right. That great. Now, and and me, like I know I I compare everything to summer the way I felt summer and the way I feel now, hundred percent better, dude. My I I can't stop smiling every day now. Why? Oh, yeah, we love that. We love that. Why? What's your main? Uh, what's keeping you happy? Just living, dude. Like, <laughs> I mean, I'm not. I'm not high dead, on life, like, living like Larry. Exactly. <laughs> No, it's because it's because it's December, so he's done with November. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna self-incriminate myself here. <laughs> no, no, but like, but but seriously, like, I mean, I mean, I'm passing on my classes. Uh, like, I'm not tripping for finals yet, at least. And I mean, like, life is good, dudes. Like, you know, like, 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 like for me, like, as is like the main thing was like this, like, for, like, what, what, what's your, what's your like? forget people and kind of just like you know like move past things life is so much better i mean i've been trying to tell you but i mean not not christian i had to learn this on myself <laughs> the hard way like like last i agree listening to this mm-hmm. but isaac i hope you're listening i'm not taking any notes <laughs> it's not class time <laughs> wait you don't even tell me about what it is your class time Actually, I do just for like math and physics. Imagine exposing Isaac. What does that matter? <laughs> no, me and Isaac have class both at eight thirty. Sometimes I hear him. He 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 goes onto Zoom, turns off his camera, and then I hear him just walk into the restroom. <laughs> Hopefully, he mutes his mic too. <laughs> <laughs> but um, oh, I mean, well, we're talking we're talking about um. The top the topic we were talking about last episode of dating outside your culture, I kinda wanna get Isaac and Min's opinion on it now that they're both here. Like what's your opinion on like dating outside like your culture? Um, well oh yeah, I mean I mean should, 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 should we give her a bit of a context for like why that question came about? I've never dated inside of my culture. Like I don't think I've dated any Vietnamese people. Like, so far that I can, like, I'm trying to remember, I haven't dated any Vietnamese people. I don't mind it. I don't think it's a problem. I don't know. It's kind of, like, cool to 
broaden your horizon and learn new cultures, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And and also, like, the, like I guess you could say, like, the, the follow-up question, because, like, the whole context behind that question is that I was talking to a friend, and uh, we were, like, we are talking about that, like, you know, like, um, like dating in your culture and she, she was like yeah i prefer to date with my own culture then i was like oh i'm kind of like i really don't care and then one of them another friend who was there asked me it's like oh it's like is it is it kind of because like you don't feel like much connection or preference to your own culture and then that kind of led me to ask it's like you know if i don't feel in tune with my culture is that maybe like a bad representation of it you know so like how do, how do, how do you feel about that you know like that whole like notion where like if you don't feel in tune then you're like a bad representation of your own culture like, like, how do, like, how does, how does that make you feel when, like, so, like, if someone were to tell you that? Hmm. I don't think that it really makes you look like, like, that you're re representing your culture in a bad way. I think that, like, I look at it like, like, you're so secure about your own culture, you don't mind about learning others in that type of way. But I think, I guess the only reason why I would, like, consider dating in my culture is like because like if they spoke that would be great so they could speak to my parents and bond with them because my parents don't really speak english so that's the like only reason i'd actually consider like dating within my religion or culture sorry religion was a but... sorry i don't like like it looks like like me telling you sorry i only date catholics <laughs> <laughs> It's like like I'm 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 gonna show up in full, in full crusader's armor <laughs> with a big red cross on my chest. Let's take on the holy land. <laughs> and what about you, Isaac? Oh uh, well, last semester or last year, I took a a semester in um, psychology for like marriage, and we talked a little bit about like like cross cultural <laughs> marriages. Okay, the reason I took that class was because I I was told it was the easiest class. And you still can't find the job? Oh. He's preparing for the future. I only took that class because like, I was told by many students it was really easy, and it was. It was only like six homework assignments. So anyways, we like they talked a little bit about like like intercultural and like different marriage like, like that, and they were saying that like it, it, it is harder than like dating or ma or marrying like in your culture. But as long as you know how to work it out and communicate, like things should like work out in the end. And I think I don't think there's anything wrong with it. You guys heard from the man here yourself, the player himself. <laughs> oh wait, he, he he leads he leads others to a to a treasure he cannot obtain himself. I give great advice, but I don't follow it. That reminds me, guys. I'm still getting um I'm still getting emails from Concordia classes. Yeah, like these Concordia really? teachers are like emailing me about like, oh, your paper's due in two weeks, or the exam's like a hundred points. I'm just like, um, I'm not your student anymore. And I emailed her to take me off of her list, and I don't think she like did it because I'm still getting like notifications about assignments being due. I'm like, what the? All right. Is one of is one of them Mrs. Kenny, and like you get PTSD? Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> <laughs> I would have blocked her email 100% right away. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, it was from, I think it was, a, it was Christian Wellness. That, yeah, that oh, I was supposed to take off in the at Concordia. Okay, so Brandon, so like you also mentioned there's some other topics you want to talk about. So like there's one, there's one topic in particular I do want to, I do want to talk about. But I kind of, I kind of want to see what you had on your, had in your agenda for it. Oh, what's your topic? Okay, so it's like like the, the topic about people who are just generally not interested in talking to you, and just just not being straight up about it. Like for me, like that is like my biggest pet peeve when like people put such little effort into a conversation and they just don't, and they just like it's, they put such little effort instead of just like taking the time to say, hey, I don't want to talk to you. Yeah. For like for X, Y, or Z reason. So I kind of want you to get. I just want to get you guys like takes about that. Like, how do you guys feel about like, someone who like wasn't like reciprocating like, you know, like like energy like in a conversation? No, I mean I think it like carries like the conversation depending on the person. But you, I think you have to understand also like the, I guess the mental health aspect of that is like some people just don't like sharing as much and they prefer to listen and listen and 
I have a great story for time for that one, but we're not going to go into that. That's fair, that's fair. Uh, Isaac. Christian or Isaac? I, I want to go first. Okay, I was okay. <laughs> okay wait, wait. Dude, are, 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 you guys here? are you guys hearing like an echo or something? I was. Somewhat. Earlier, yeah, when I was okay. speaking. Yeah, okay, I, I think it died. All right, Christian, go ahead. We just fix that in post. <laughs> I mean, uh, I would say I'm exactly the same as Brandon. I mean, I feel like a lot of us from, from Verb are, are like Brandon, really. But, like, my example would be more true when I'm at work. For example, when I first started working, like, the first week, like, uh, I kind of, you obviously need to talk to your co- your coworkers. So, like, in the first week, it was kind of slow. It was just answering their questions, not really me asking them questions. And me just kind of filling the room, if you will. But then, like, now, after a, co- a few months in, it's like, I'm talking, they're talking raw, interacting and whatnot. Yeah. But I mean, there there are times when I'm like talking to someone, and then they're just like, they're not emitting the same energy, and it's just like, why? <laughs> but, but yeah, like I, I I was gonna say, there's a difference between like like someone trying to match your energy but can't, and then someone who just doesn't care to try. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 I was I was referring to people who just don't care to try. Who just don't care? Mm-hmm. Yeah, who just don't care. Oh well, no, yeah. Sure. Oh, then that's different. That's way different. No, and, and then there's other times. There's other times where it's just like me, and then like I, I guess like I'm just having a bad day, or just like all my energy's gone, and someone talks to me, and I'm just like, okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah, it depends on the person and what happened. Just really. cancel them if if it seems like they're not, they don't really care about what you have to cancel them. Oh, I hear the echo again. Oh wait. Just, just give it. Like just there. Okay, I think it's gone. Okay. No. (laughs) The scary echo isn't leaving. (laughs) Yeah, just like that again. Yeah, I hear it again. I think it's on you. Yeah, I think it's on your end. Well, I didn't do anything different. But yeah, but that's basically was like kind of what I was like hinting (laughs) at, like. Like, people who just, like, don't care. So I know there's people, like, you know, I understand, like, you know, if you're, like, hella tired and you just don't want to talk, it's like, okay, it's fine. Like, I, understandable. But it's, like, you know, like, 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 when there's people just, like, generally don't care to try, like, like even if, like, you try to talk to them, like, multiple times and they just don't care every time and it's just kind of one-sided where it's, like, you know, asking questions. And, like, I'm the type of person where it's, like, you know, if, like, whether we're talking to, like, in person or text, I'll, like, put in, like, like little, like, tidbits or, like, clues that, you know, you can, like, hatch upon so you can, like, continue the conversation. And it's, like, they'll, like, it is anything I learned from drama, like, in high school, is the fact that you, you can't end off on a no or just a yes. Okay, you have to end off and. on a yes and. Yeah, wow. yes and. It's, like, once you have, like, the yes and, then you can keep going and going and going and going and going. And it's, like, you know, that's where you offer, like, different per- different perspectives and you get to know the person more like that. And it's, like, if it's, like, yes. Or, you like, or like a better example, like, more actual example, like you just, someone just says, Oh, that's cool. The fuck am I supposed to say? <laughs> it's like it's like this is literally the meme of the barber, the guy who can put his lip inside his like his like his upper lip inside his lower lip, and he slapped the guy's head, the, the bald the bald guy. It's like, it's like when he goes like, "Fuck, am I supposed to do with this?" <laughs> and that's exactly how I feel. It's like when someone says, "Oh, that's cool," I'm like, <laughs> I'm sorry, "Are okay. we still doing the swear jar know. thing, guys?" <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Oh, no. He's already he's already donated his his portion of the funds. Yeah, I, I'm pretty much making no money off the show. My my bank account hasn't changed every single time we get money. So I, mean, you know. I mean, none of us either. It's all. I don't mind. Whoever is getting the money. I don't mind it because I swear a lot. But oh, some, shit. someone Rich. does. Right. All right. Do, do we do we got another sailor in here? <laughs> I mean, I, <laughs> but. I mean, I only I only stopped cursing because like you know, because uh, a fellow viewer asked me <laughs> if I could you know protect my image and stop cursing. I wonder who. I wonder who that one viewer is. <laughs> I, but I'm I'm for certain she's probably listening to the Spotify recording. <laughs> she's outside. The door. Right, just well, like. <laughs> is she a regular? Yeah, she 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 she, she listens to like all the all, all the episodes. Yeah, you know, I, I yeah, you know, it's funny. It's funny because like my mom knows about the show, but I don't think any of any of their any of their moms know about the show. Negative. 
I don't know, actually. My sister is not official. Oh, how do you? How do you? How do you? No, it's my oldest sister. Well, the real question is, would they listen to it even if they did know? Ooh, that is a real question. How much of family are they? Because I know for a fact my mom would listen. She wouldn't understand anything. (laughs) I mean, I feel like my my. Oh, I know my friend. My mom would listen. But like I feel like my dad's like he'd probably only like click play just so we could get the play, but he probably wouldn't be paying attention because it's like you know we're talking like I mean English isn't a strong suit let's just say, and like we're talking like, pretty fast and we're talking about like you know it's slang so it'd be harder for him to understand it. So he'd probably just be like yeah I, I click play on him and I give you the well, play. Well, and Isaac click play go to the bathroom. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> that's basically it. Like you know, like like I, I was thinking, like you know, if that's the case, since like you know, basic. I know like, uh, Brandon's parents, Isaac's parents, and Christian's parents all speak Spanish, like exclus- almost exclusively. So like, what if we like you know do like an all in Spanish? Uh, <laughs> I mean, me and Brandon, we weren't in the in the in the better Spanish class in high school. I'm, better, I'm a better Spanish speaker than you, Christian. You're the worst. <laughs> wow. Wow. Why it's like he's like, like like that. Maybe you guys should do one episode. Just one episode where you guys all speak Spanish. Chris is going to be like, El El, El Perro. (laughs) Wow. Okay, we are for sure doing this episode. (laughs) Hola. Me llamo Christian and bienvenido (laughs) al simple boat. (laughs) Not even. Not even. We'll see when the day comes. We'll see. I'll be the judge since I listen to it. Since I listen to every single time. But all right, Brandon. So like, okay, so like, oh, so so so, so we got to like my topic. But like, all right, so like, okay, so finally, like, like, what are what are the things like you, you want to talk about? Because like, you know, because you're supposed to hard carry this show today. <laughs> well, I mean, um, most of the topics I have down were because me and Min had discussed them, like the potential topics we can talk about. So I can let her ask any questions that she wants or any topic she wants. Okay, Min, what do you have? For I have us? a question for Christian. Oh man! <laughs> what are your next plan? Like, do you have any next plans with your coworker that you? Like? Oh, oh, the the one that we thought was something, but it wasn't something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, now there's like not rumors, but there's like people knowing my 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 uh, my job already. So that's oh. we created something that was never anything. Oh my god! Yeah, so we're going downhill from here. Oh. <clears throat> no, I mean nothing's happened. I mean. Uh, I worked, when did I work? Uh, yesterday in the morning and it was me, me and, and her together and, uh, it was awkward. Honestly, it was awkward for like an hour and then we started talking and everything was okay. So that's probably how it's going to be for the rest of my life, <laughs> the rest of my, my career there. This is why, this is why you don't date poll workers. Okay. Okay. It wasn't a date. It was just hanging out. What's wrong with hanging out? Until you know, rumors go around. Okay. <laughs> and until the next one. Until the next one. Did you end up asking her like straight up, like, is this a date or are we hanging out? Like, did you straight up ask her? Uh, no. But okay. as we were talking, she was like, "Oh, I'm not looking for a relationship right now." She said it out of the blue. So, so that that's what. Ended it all. You, you see, you see like, I, think, I think, like, I, th- I think, like, I think, like, this is probably be the last, like, the last time we, because I think I feel like this is like our third episode talking about Christian. So. <laughs> <laughs> we need to call this the end of the chapter or something. Oh, Onto the next one. You guys are called Simple. It's the only one. Wait, what? Man? You guys are called Simple, and I feel like we should be encouraging this type of conversation. Exactly. This is like our main oh, yeah. story. Yeah. We have to drag this out. Christian is the only one who's been like. Close. <laughs> um, exactly. Close, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I mean, if we I, can even like, call it close. There's just, there's something about the name where, like, whenever like I talk to my other friends, I tell them I'm no simp. They're like, they're they're always their responses. Your podcast is. <laughs> yeah. So, but. I I think I think the summary of this chapter with Christian is the fact that he didn't think it was a date, but the girls thought it was no, a date. She didn't. So they, okay, let's just say so, so why the point you... is it was never anything. Let's just say that it okay. was never anything. In, in, it's kind of like heartbreaking, summary. but 
It is what it is. You got it. You got another friend. <laughs> you got another friend. That's great. That's true. Not about there's more. Yep, there's more on the horizon. Yeah, we'll we'll keep we'll keep all of our fans like you know in 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 tune with, with what happens. If I need a vent, I'll I'll vent on the simple. Oh my god. <laughs> the the simple is basically our diary. Like most of the <laughs> most of the this is gonna ruin our lives. Most of the juicy stuff for me happened over the summer, but you know that's that's been gone. Now. <laughs> Does she know about this podcast? Does she know about the podcast? Oh. <laughs> Does she Christian? Oh, oh, you're talking to me. Oh. Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, imagine that from like the other point of view. But no, I think so. Let's keep it that way. Yeah. Until you know. That way. <laughs> until they know. Should we be the next guest? an episode of Mori or something like no i was i was gonna say like did you guys ever watch laura like for the spanish speaking people did you guys watch laura no. No. no no okay well i was gonna be like you know like it's like we have like you know like her come on the show and then we have like you know like que, que pasa, que pasa, el, 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 right <laughs> And it's like and then like the song plays que pasa el que pasa el and it's like and it's like Christian walking into the show. It's just gonna be a, an episode of Jerry Springer on the on the simple. That's basically what it is. <laughs> Christian's gonna be like the camera guy's gonna be running after Christian. <laughs> Christian, Christian, and it's like it's gonna be out of that one scene where like you know where he looks angry and he's just crossing his arms like or like in the preview. <laughs> And he walks in and it's like, I was like, Christian! <laughs> For half the crowd is like, Woo! and the other half crowd is like, Woo! Are in. you are a simp. <laughs> Christian's like, no! Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. All right. So, so, so that was the question for Christian. I think we finally have concluded <laughs> this this, chap- this chapter of the Simp story. Not that bad. To be continued. To be continued. Not to yeah. be continued. Why did you guys like decide to like do this? Like, what was like the decision like you guys made? Like, oh, guys, let's make a podcast and like. How do you know who was going to be in it? I mean, I think it was literally just that. Because Christian, Hector, and me have a Twitter group chat. And we're always sending each other, like, memes or we're just texting each other. And then we literally just said that one day. And we're just like, okay, let's just do it. I yeah. think what fueled the fire was COVID also. So we just can't see each other. Yeah. I mean, in a way, it benefited us in that way. But Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm not going to say anything, but we have copycats now between you and me. Wink, wink, and hey, we got rivals. 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 We're going to start some big beef. <laughs> you know, if you, if you guys want to see a, the a, a charity the slap B-side. off. The B-side. The B-side. It's all love, but, you know, we might start a, a charity a charity boxing event. With the oh, yeah. <laughs> Didn't you guys, like, feature, like, another podcast on your Instagram or something? Yeah. Well, yeah, we did. That one? Yeah. Yeah. We're more than willing to start. Very good for friends, but business enemies. <laughs> yeah. It's good for our economy. We, 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 are, we, we are the Mr. Krabs of the video. <laughs> we, we are the Krusty Krab. <laughs> okay, no, it's, 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 it's all love it between is. us. We, 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 we do love to joke. But, but 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 I I am serious about the about the slap box charity event. I mean, I mean I, I probably I probably get I probably get my face caved in <laughs> by I. But it, I, if it's for charity, I mean, okay, we, I'll you, you could just donate your your portion and then just nominate yourself for it. <laughs> I'll nominate myself to fight against the <laughs> to fight against the gorilla. <laughs> Regurgitator. Regurgitator. What what is it called the episode? What do we call that? Regurgitator. Regurgitator versus gorilla. This is gorilla. <laughs> Ivan the gorilla. Oh, did you guys ever see that movie? It was like it was actually like a Disney movie. It's like Ivan, Ivan the Great. Oh, and it's like yeah. a story about a, a gorilla named Ivan. Uh, like I, I, I didn't watch the movie, but it's like I think it was just like a documentary. 
Yeah, yeah, I search Ivan the Great, and then I get Prince of Moscow. I forgot he was also there. Man, a lot of cool people are named Ivan. You got Ivan the Great, Ivan the Terrible, yeah. the one and only Ivan, who, who's also a gorilla. But it's actually, that kind of an interesting topic. Like, where, where, did you, where, where did you guys get your name from? Like, or where do you know your name has been used before? Like, 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 like is your name like known for something? Like, what is your like, like, what does your name mean? Or is like, is your name famous for religion? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is there anything else to that? <laughs> He's not wrong. A Christian, not yeah. A Christian. Yeah. That's my story. Or, or, or men, or like, like, what's it like the story behind your name? Or like, you know, where, like, what's your name? Like, um, name? my name is really common. If you go to Vietnam, like, you'll hear men a lot. Um, so funny story how I got my name actually. So men wasn't supposed to be my name. Like, I was supposed to have um like a different name because my mom had originally wanted to um, give me like a more Viet name. But then how could you like go more Viet than Min? But we wanted to, and then when she was like writing my name on like the birth certificate thing or whatever, and the immigration officers were like, um, you can't change her name to that. There's like an accent on that thing. So you got to take that out. And then my dad was like, so my dad said to change it like completely and my mom wanted to keep it but the thing is like without the accent thing my name would be two so my literal name would have been two wait like, like t-w-o no like that's how you pronounce it but it would be spelled t-h-u but my name would, would have literally been two like so i would have been two tran so my mom was like now nah, we're changing it so my dad's like hey, we're gonna name her in yeah I have no clue what my name is. Like, call your mom, Brandon. We gotta know. I don't call your mom right now. We gotta know why you were named Brandon. <laughs> I don't even think. I think they just saw the name and they just liked it. <laughs> <laughs> why? Well, well, when, when you get a kid, I'm gonna ask you that. I'm like, why'd you call your name that? Why, why, why'd you call your baby's name that? Oh, I just saw it. <laughs> I just saw it on a I newspaper. Like or. Or do you know like any other like famous people named Brandon? Um or or, or last name Bayo. No, but I've met like Brandon. other people with the same last name. Which is like weird because like I it's not like a cat a usual like last name. Yeah, I've never heard his last name until I met him. <laughs> but then it's not really right. that much Hispanic culture in Hawaii, so it's like I guess like I guess like my name here besides Christian has like the most like versatility. Yeah, I've never so, met like, anyone named Hector after you, or before you. I've never met anybody oh, really? named Hector. Yeah. Oh really? Okay. Hold on. <laughs> so like, I was I was named after my dad. Uh, I was and my my middle name is Alexis, but I think it's Texas. supposed to be like. <laughs> <laughs> is that my new podcast? My new, pos- my new podcast. My new podcast name is Alexis. <laughs> but um, so like I cause, like, there's multiple stories to this because like my dad, his best friend, like is one of Charlotte's best friends. His name is uh, like Alexis or Alex. And it was his name is Alex. So I, I gave like, you the short okay. end of the stick on that one. Yeah, like, like you know, like my, I'm like named after like his best friend, like Alex, but Alexis. But then my mom told me, he's like, oh, we originally want to name you Alexander. So like, imagine me being named Alexander. Uh, uh, it all, right? No, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't fit me at all. I know. I mean, I've had people, I've had people tell me I look like a seal. No. Yeah, no, I don't like anything. Like you look like a Hector. But yeah, one and all. Uh, <laughs> all right. Yeah, actually, like my my name was used in, in this like it, Hector was actually like a warrior for for Troy. And you guys know my know him from like the story of um uh, Achilles. Yeah, yeah. So he was like, he I'm I'm the one who got killed by Achilles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm I'm I was I was the bad guy. I think I I I only read that story once. And I don't remember much, but I think I think I was the bad guy basically. <laughs> Which kind of brings like, it's like my name is so famous. It's like Hollywood loves using Hector as a Mexican drug dealer name. 
Hector is always the bald guy, the bald Mexican with the mustache, oh, and, and 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 that that he all tatted up, and that's so that drugs. so true? <laughs> it's like I know, I know a friend down in the down in, I know a friend down in LA who could give me the hookups. <laughs> Just ask for. <laughs> And, it, and, he pulls, and he pulls up with like, with like, with like the white, the white wife beater uh, tank top shirt, the muscle shirt. Yeah, like, right like, there. Yeah, like, 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 that's why I chose to be the writer, but someone else, one of the actors bailed on us, and we and I had to act, <laughs> which was a real shame, a real shame for the audience. And my last name, it's like it's like it's like it's like some town in Spain, but there's a famous there's like a, a famous um there's an MLB pitcher. His name is Jake Arie or Jake Ar- Jake Ar- <laughs> Jake Arietta, <laughs> and like we shared we shared the same last name, and he actually won the World Series with the Cubs in like 2016 2015. So like you know, I so I ha- of course I had to hop on the Cubs bandwagon because it's never gonna happen again. A, a guy with my last name is never gonna win the World Series again. I had to I had to embrace it, embrace embrace the World Series legacy of my last name. And now Isaac, he you know if I had to take a guess, he was named after Isaac Newton. Am I right? Or wrong? <laughs> no, I, I don't think my parents knew of him. I was I was gonna say based off um, isn't he like famous in the Bible? The name Isaac. Yeah. Exactly. Oh yeah, they try to kill me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, but like I the wish. reason my parents, well, it was actually my dad who gave me like the name. It was because um, when he was like younger, he had a, a newborn brother that like my grandparents named Isaac, who passed away when he was like a little baby. So then that's why my dad named me Isaac after him. Wow, he has the most realistic like. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's like the most realistic reasoning for the name. It's like you know, Christian is just because he's a religion. Like, I'm just because of my dad. Brandon was Brandon was picked out of the book. <laughs> <laughs> Mid was because like cause, like um should birth certificate issues. Okay, but like, but are you guys like are you guys like happy with your name or would you guys ever like change your name? Because I know it's like a lot of people that do like eventually change your name for like whatever reason. Like, would you guys ever change your name? And and if you and if you would, like, what would you change it to? I don't know. I feel like I like my name. It's basic. Five letters for the first name. Five letters for the last <laughs> name. It's like it looks nice. Like, I don't know. It looks. Like it looks nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's very symmetrical. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. I. I remember, like, I used to hate my name when I was younger, but like when I grew up, I. I guess I kind of just grew into it. But I remember when I was younger, I always wanted to change my name to Tiffany. And whenever I like tell my friends that I want to change my name to Tiffany, they're like, no, it just sounds like a basic white bitch name. Don't you <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, whoa, damn, all right. But yeah, no, I'm fine with my name now, but I remember hating it when I was younger though, because it was like different and I didn't want to be different. I don't think I would. Brandon. I like my name. It's like, my first name is Kai. It's like one, two, three. <laughs> seven <laughs> letters. Yeah, he had a he had a count off the zoom. <laughs> how uh, how many years have you had your name for? Uh, Nineteen. <laughs> um, I think like my first name is like kind of long, and then my last name is pretty short. Brandon Pello. Like five letters. I mean, I mean but yeah, pretty. Yeah, pretty good initials though. Yeah, B B. Yeah. Because you know, if you B B. <laughs> okay. All righty. Okay. All right. Just because of that, Hector, you should just change your name to Hector Texas. I mean, you just. <laughs> I mean, but I think we all agree. I have the best initials here. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Like, my, my dad's is fine. My my. Like it's like my initials are Ha. My my mom's initials are J A, which is Spanish. Ha. <laughs> like we're like the Ha Ha. That's a good one. That's a good one. What I just realized now, dude, Christian, you spelled your name wrong. <laughs> oh, I didn't spell my name wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan. 
Actually, you did. You did. Oh, you did. Oh, Brandon spelled the name wrong. Right? Brandon, you have one job. Oh, What's the <laughs> cent of your paycheck? <laughs> Oh, thank, you. thank you. I think I'm dyslexic, dude. I think I swear. <sighs> anyway, oh, now that everything's normal again. I hope. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm myself. Oh, Joy. I... <laughs> Isaac! You want to care to find that, Isaac? It just means like, oh, damn, I think Vietnamese. Vietnamese. When Min was here, she taught us how to speak some Vietnamese. Yeah. And oh. somehow he still remembers. I remember. I remember the other one where <laughs> well, we were FaceTiming and your mom walks in and I was going to say the other one. <laughs> so I taught him some, I taught some of them swear words too. And, um, like? It was one time I was FaceTiming with my mom, right? And um, one of my friends that I had taught Vietnamese to was there. So I was like, hey, I taught you how to greet people in Vietnamese. Why don't you come and greet my mom? And then he like, <laughs> he looked at me because he doesn't really remember what the word was. And then he says the word thinking that that's like, you know, how you greet people. But it was one of the swear words I taught him. I taught him, <laughs> I taught him at your mom. <laughs> and he translates to motherfucker. And that's like, I taught him that. And he was like, that's how you say it, right? I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, the, 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 the like, wait, uh, like, man, do you know any Spanish um, swear Yeah. Words? <laughs> well, which ones? <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Which one? That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, it is. <laughs> It's like it's like it's like this, that's like the equivalent of like if someone just taught you that, and just because it has madre in it, you you instantly think it's about your mom. It's like it's like puta madre, Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. Arieta. And it's like, and it's like you know, my mom probably be like. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like well, I mean, Min knows a whole. She knows how to annoy me because she can sing a whole Spanish song that I very much dislike. I sing, I sing "Adios Amor" like, all the time whenever he's in the room because I know he hates that song. So I always I always sing it at the is. top of my lungs, and he's like, "Min, shut up! You know I hate it." Wait, wait, um, uh, "Adios" by who? Uh, yeah, it's no, wait, it's not. We can't play. I've, We're gonna get copyright. I know. I mean, I play music on my streams, like like on my personal streams all the time. I still have yet to be DMC. Wait, do you guys really get copyrighted? Not, not yet. At least, we We're not big enough. Isn't there like a like a time limit where like like there's like amount of seconds you can like, play until you get copyrighted for stuff? Basically, like three seconds. Like if I mean, that's then that's if you're lucky. Honestly, but. Okay, like, I mean, like, like, speaking of languages in general, like, in, like, learning languages, like, is there any languages you guys have, like, been trying to learn recently or, like, or have been wanting to learn? Spanish. <laughs> we, we should just do, instead of the podcast, just a once-a-week lesson. I... Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, I, actually, like, that kind of brings me idea. So, when we do, like, the all-Spanish podcast, we should bring <laughs> men back. And see like how much they actually understand. <laughs> we're, we're gonna have to put subtitles every time we have yeah. to type what we say. Yeah. Yeah, big subtitles there. Like I feel like I was doing okay with like pronunciation, but the only thing I really remembered were swear words because that's all you guys said. Me? No. no. <laughs> Everybody asked <laughs> us. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's all I like remember. For all reference, for reference, like, she hung around it. Isaac, me, oh. Ivan, and one of our other friends who was on the soccer team. It's mainly just Ivan, I could just tell. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like, you could have seen me, puta. Oh, yeah. And I would always say, like, 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 a su madre or something like that. <laughs> God, oh, yeah, yeah, something like that. Is, is that the one? <laughs> 
we're, we're you guys are teaching her well. We're all bad influences. <laughs> the thing is, I have no idea how to actually say yeah. anything. I mean, honestly, the first step is watch Dora. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm sorry, but that shit was irritating. Nah, no, no, no one, no one talks smack to my girl Dora like that. <laughs> the, home, the home girl Dora. You know, you got, you, you got Fox I out here. Oh I mean, quick, like, so like, quick update. I guess like because of the whole language thing. I've actually been trying to learn Japanese because I have a trip I coming you. up in I can July. Help you out. Yeah, I Are took really? Japanese for four years in high school. Oh my god, can you please like help me out? I've been using Duolingo and it's like Duolingo. <laughs> yeah. It's like I don't know, like I I am trying to like get like gold in like every level, so like you know, like because because I feel like anyone could just like speed run Duolingo if you try hard enough. Oh wait, I heard um, I heard Hello like, Talk you know, works really well too. Cause it's like it teaches you like stuff that you would actually use in conversation. Yeah. Oh, really? I feel like that too. Okay. I right. hello. Yeah. Hello. Is it free? Like, it's like <laughs> advertised on TikTok like a lot. Okay. I see it here. Well, so that kind of brings like the next things like, you know, this is like looking way into the future. But if I do end up going to Japan, should should we do like should we do like a show where I'm live? No, you, you should, we should do a yeah. show where you're walking through the Japan, just, you know, like one of those vloggers. Oh yeah, I'll, I I and mean, like, no, 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 like, like, I I feel I feel like you know like Japan Japan has, has had enough of American. Yeah, it's just in the train though. You'll probably <laughs> break your phone if you do it in the train. Oh yeah, because like cause yeah, they will literally shove through. your body in until you fit. It's we're an hour and seven in. How do you guys feel about this? Song? Dude, and the fact that we didn't even go over oh, any of the questions that I that Brandon and I went over, and we already had gone through so much time. <laughs> What other questions do you have? Okay, I mean, okay, whatever questions do you have? Let's yeah, pick like the most interesting ones. Right, Brandon, go. I don't, I didn't, I didn't take any. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, let's look at this way. We're doing it live. So, I mean, like, we give this picture and post later, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um. When was hookup culture? Wait, what culture? I hate it. Like, what do you think of it? Hook like, up do you culture. support hookup culture? Like, like Tinder. No, not like, okay. Not everybody hooks up on Tinder though, like like the uh, like the smash and dash, all of that stuff. Oh, smash, I'm a tech on that one. Yeah, I think it kind of comes like the balance, like you know, like people never pushing mm -hmm. people to do anything they don't want, or like you know, like perpetually like what they believe. I think that's it comes that's with like fine. a mutual that's respect fine. for people. So that's kind of like, those are our takes. Next question. Me. Next question. <laughs> I don't have a question, so Brandon. Um, you weren't. You mentioned something about uh. Oh, okay. So, like, what do you guys think about like the whole idea of parents having different ex like expectations for girls and guys, like especially for like with dating for like anything for that matter. Yeah. Anything. Uh. I mean, I've always felt like the, the parents typically expect guys to like follow like kind of like oh, i said like kind of like a certain like path where it's like you kind of like the guys kind of like the expectations that you kind of have to be successful in some sort of way well, like for if like like the woman it's like you like we're like the expectations you can be successful if you want however like you know like we don't have like that i just like kind of put out what i seems like you know you can be successful but like we're not gonna like have that oh, high that's so high interesting because it's the opposite for me Cause I have, yeah, I have two younger cousins in Vietnam and they're both guys. And um, my parents are like expecting me, you know, college, medical school, doctor, all that. But like, whenever we talk to like, talk about our cousins, my parents are like, oh yeah, we're just hoping they graduate high school. Yeah, I like, they just need to graduate high school and I'd be proud of them. And it's like, and I need to get a freaking, my freaking doctorate degree for you to be proud of me, really? <laughs> Like, er, 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 er. 
er, 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 I think at the end of this episode, I'm just gonna cut every part where you stutter and just leave it for the end. Alright, okay. Bye, 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 bye. Oh, my Spanish might be bad, but Hector's English is horrible. Can I just say that? Mind you, I'm a native speak. I'm a native speaker too. No, I I blame it on the fact that my parents try to teach me both Spanish and English at the same time. That's my excuse. That's always gonna be my excuse. Yeah, but, but when is that excuse just gonna run out? Till to, to the to day I day. die. To the day. <laughs> to this day. But but okay. But but how about you guys? Like, what, what have you guys seen? Like, so like in, in terms of men's question, like the expectations of like guy of uh, uh, guys and girls. I mean, I think my family, like, it's hard to say for, like, the girl's perspective or girl's expectation because in my family, I grew up a lot around guys because most of my, like, aunts and uncles had only boys. So it's, like, on my uncle, and one of my uncle's sides is three boys, and then on my aunt's side, it's three boys, and then mine's is three boys. So it's, like, I think we have seen, like, that, like, what you said, like, the guy has to be the breadwinner. Mm-hmm. And, like, usually the the women are, like, they stay at home except for, like, my aunt. She also works. But I think it's, like, the way I see it is, like, I think if both want to work, both have to work. It's, like, it depends for situation. Yeah. Because it's, like, there there's obviously there's situations where, like, the girl works and the guy is the one that stays at home. or So it's, like, I don't really see that, like, there should be any, like, stereotype kind of. And like, if one wants, if they both want to work, they both work. Or it's like whatever works for each couple or for every person individually. But I mean, if I were to marry rich, I'd marry rich too, you know. I mean, yeah. I mean, like you know, if if I were to marry rich, woo, shit. I mean, like, look, 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 look. If if my wife was making like, you know, a, a, like a million a year, and all I had to do was stay home, keep it clean, and cook. I mean, <laughs> sign me up. <laughs> if only. If only. I mean, I wouldn't be complaining. I mean, I'll 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 make the beef one oh and salmon every night. <laughs> but but how about you, Christian? Like, I mean, like, or Christian Isaac, whoever wants to go first. Like, like what's I'm guys, always like, first. Take, take on this. <clears throat> Anyways. Well, just for that, I'm gonna go. <laughs> so, be my so, guest. Be my guest. This is how we put your time out for like, Isaac. Okay, so like at least for like my household, it doesn't like it doesn't matter. Like, there's no expectations that are different. For us, it's mainly like education is mainly like the most important thing. And it's by age. So like since I'm the oldest one, I'm the one being helped like the most or like pushed the most for education. If I drop the ball, then it's going to go down to like the oldest sister. So like right now I'm doing good. But like say I just fail, like drop out, then like most of the support is going to go to my sister. Oh, okay. No, when, like, like when you say like drop the ball, I thought you were just talking about like a domino effect. Like, if you drop out, everyone oh, no. drop out. <laughs> no, but, like, okay, say, like, say I do make it and, like, like, I'm, I, I, like, I can make my own money and stuff like that. The then, like, I'll help, my, I'll help my next sister out. And then, like, after, like, she makes it, she'll oh. help on, like, like, it's just, like, in that case, it is, it is a domino boy. effect. I know, I, I think it's more like yeah. the, the Russian dolls at that point. Yeah, it's like, you know, everyone's, like, w- w- in, in, in another and you're kind of helping each other. Well, that's if you make it. <laughs> Well, I don't even. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, like, like. If you don't make it, you can still help them out. So, like, let's say, like, you do yeah. drop out. That help doesn't mean, out. like, you're not going to help them because you've already had that, like, somewhat college experience. So, you can advise them, like, instead of going to a four year, you could recommend a community college or you just help them out in their applications. Oh, yeah. That, that's you, okay. That's, that's if, more like... Or if they don't have to go to college. That's more like experience. I'm talking about, like, like say they need, like, financial help or or whatever. Well, even then, because, like, let's say you drop out and just go full-time working, and let's say, like, you're making, like, a decent amount where you can still financially self- support them, too. Yeah, you can I mean, it'll still be better if you graduate and get a better job, but, yeah. Yeah, you can tell them what not to do. Or, yeah, or, you know, you guys can always start a business, too. I mean, the like, simple. You know, it's, it's, all, it's obviously, like, it's, it's hard, but, yeah, the, 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 the simple is our investment. The simple LLC. If anything, the simple is going to be somewhere I can go 20 years down the line to listen how it was 20 years. <laughs> like, it's just, that's basically what it is for me. It's like, it's like, it, 
like imagine like your kids. I mean, I, I, I want to listen with them. I want to see how how, how they feel. Or or, or or are you gonna pull? Are you gonna pull Mr. Jovell and be? Oh, uh, uh, he's gonna here. listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you're listening to this, Mr. Uh, Mr. J, I, I I love you. I was waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was a great teacher, but. But yeah, but I mean, that's kind of like, I think we're like, we all like that perspective for like, you know, it kind of doesn't matter who you are. You have to be a breadwinner regardless. That's kind of like, I think like the general stances we've been taking here. All right. Um, my next question is when you, when or if you guys have kids, will you make your kids go to college? Like make them get a degree? Oh. <sighs> That's, that's like a case, a case basis for me. Like, if my kid is like, he if he's like really good at music, for example, or he's like a really good artist, then fucking go for it. Like, like, like if you if you know for a fact you if you have like the drive to do it, and you're not just like saying like oh, I want to be an artist, even though you're not doing anything like to pursue it, like then then do it. Like college is always gonna be there, but like your your talent or the age that you that you have to do your talent isn't. So like, a, 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 or if in the case where like you know they didn't. They didn't like do that well in high school, but they're like really have like that entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial, like you know, the entrepreneurial spirit, and they have like this idea, and they need my money to do it. It's like go ahead, like if you're, if like I'll be your investor if you need me to, like if if that's like your choice, like to go like after college, and if it's like you know an honest business that's legal, you know, like then let's, let's do it together. I hope I'll help you. Yeah, that's because like I mean yeah, because I mean you know, I mean. I mean, technically, I mean, like you, you know, there, so there are some businesses that are questionable. I guess you could say, like you know, like MLMs. People start MLMs. I wouldn't. I mean, I guess, I guess there are MLMs legal, or I mean, I think they are because if not, people would probably be going to jail for that. But I wouldn't consider consider that ethical at home. But like, you know, as long as it's legal and ethical, I, I, I'm more than willing to like be Damn, be your I investor. And, and it's like, and, and you know, if in the case that I see like. Or even a case like my kid is like 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 literally the next LeBron James. Fuck college, dude. College, college is gonna be there later. Well, I mean, well, if you honestly, well, he's gonna have to go to college in order, like you know, you know, gonna be go to like the NBA or something. And then like you know, but at the end of it, it kind of depends like what he or she wants to do, and kind of like uh, and based on that, like and I would do like an assessment of whether or not like they can they'd be actually able to like you know follow through with it. And if, like, you know, at that point, it's like, if I think they wouldn't be able to follow through with it, I'll try to give them, like, a guiding hand to make sure, like, you know, they don't have, like, fall just straight on the ground in the real world. Wait, heck, that's kind of the way I would Sign note to that question. Sure. What if your wife has a different viewpoint? Yeah. Oh. Then, then that's kind of where you have to, like, kind of, like, meet somewhere in the middle. Like, you know, it's like, because there's a lot of people in college who are like STEM majors and they have like musical careers, so it's like it's, it's definitely possible. Oh yeah, I'm trying to do uh, that, but I'm not getting anywhere. <laughs> I mean, so I mean, it's definitely is possible because I mean, I have a I I know someone at UCSD where like she she releases music on Spotify and like literally like she was like I think like um one of one of her stories was someone's screenshot of her being the like of her being the top artist, someone's top artist of the year. Like you know, like she's she, she's getting streams and she's also a STEM major, so it is possible to, to like do both. So I mean, you know, kind of meeting somewhere in the middle. Cause like I don't know, I, I, cause I met so I was like one time I took an Uber, and you know, like I was like it was a white lady, and like she was talking about her daughter and how like she wants to be like she wants to be an actress, and now she's doing like the whole like you know actress by night, like oh, that sounds that sounds terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Pretend I didn't say that. <laughs> part-time wow. actress and a part-time waitress and like you know she's like doing like the whole like you know pretty much like living in los angeles type deal and her reasoning was that college is always going to be there but the age for her to, to like pursue acting isn't so i mean it's kind of like where like, like that maybe I, I i sat down i sat that it, i sat around with that in my mind for a while and that's kind of like how i came came about to give my answer that's totally different from my mom like i'm like the complete opposite from my mom but yeah, but what, what about you guys? I've been on the floor for too long. Um, I think I would have to agree with you with the point that if like my kid has something that like like some sort of talent or skill, then I'd help them pursue it. But also, um, 
I think like I I wouldn't force college onto them because it's like college isn't for everybody. Like I think it's I think college now is more of a like a checklist more than anything. It's like oh like society like wants you to go to college because you need you need it in order to get a certain job, which I don't mm. think is right because it's more acting like a it's like a checklist. And I think it's I think Elon Musk said something like the only point of college is really to is really just to show that you can do your chores, and it doesn't really like show what like what you can actually do because it's more of like just the grade instead of actually learning. But I think it's like I wouldn't force my kids, and if they, and even if they don't have a talent and they just want to work, I'd support them in that and whatever makes them happy. I guess. Yeah, it's like honestly, so long as like, my kid's not a bum. Like, so long as he's not a bum, and as long as he's not like me, I'm, I'll be happy. <laughs> but I, I, okay, like yeah, I agree with you guys, but I think that's like step two or like step three. Like first, I want to teach like my my child like like being humble or like being like thankful for like the small things stuff like that and then like for him to like understand like what the world really is because like i don't know i feel like like i grew up like i feel like i was protected like against the world so like when i went to like like even like middle school or high school i was like oh damn life is like not not what i thought like it's not all flowers or like there's there's bad things so like i want to teach like my son or like daughter my child like first like the moral things or just for like for them to get an understanding of the world before they they get to the world. Isaac, you're, you're making me sound so cruel. Like, well, my birthday party was cruel. <laughs> you're, you're, acting, you're, you're acting like you saw people get stabbed at Santa Media. He's, 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 got, he's about to go make a Kendrick Lamar oh album God. based on Santa Media. It's by, it's, I said a section like it says, what, section eighty is gonna be sec, this is section media, section of media. But okay, uh, man, how, how uh, you no, this um, I think or, yeah. I feel hard. Like I think that um, if my child really had like like a passion for what they wanted to do, and like she or he was like really confident and really thinks that they would make it, I'd support it. But like if they're in like the position where they think they want to do this, but they're not too sure about what to do. I think that they should try to pursue education just like, you know, to fall back like any on anything, like just try like community college at least and then see like, you know, where it takes them. Or I guess like the other thing I would advocate for, like if they don't, like if they're not even like sure they want to be going to school or like to like end up working like at an office job, I would say like at least go to trade school. Like every everyone needs a mechanic. I'm a mechanic, so I mean, like, oh, uh, I'm I'm learning to be a mechanic with my dad, you know, day by day. So, I mean, like, you know, this is just kind of things you always need. And plus, like, you know, even if you just go to trade school, not just become like a mechanic, you go, you it's just things you just need in life, especially like as a guy. Like, 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 like you don't want to, like, I, I've seen guys who don't know how to change. I mean, I'd argue so that for both. Yeah. Yeah. My One of my exes yeah, didn't, um, he didn't know how to, like, what's that called, um. How to say it? No, like blow, blow your tire. I don't like like when you pull it up. What's it called? Oh, oh no, yeah, he no, not change, but like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. He, know, he, he didn't know. know he didn't know how to do that. And um, my one of my tires were like were like getting flat, and and my dad had like this portable thing that you could do on like the side of the road. And he and then I was just like, "Well, do you know how to do it?" And he's like, "No." <laughs> Bro, it's just I don't know. People like that surprise me because, like, I don't know. They simply just plug it in and you just it's, it's just like a bike. I like think bike. like it just it honestly just depends like how you were raised. Yeah, I'll say like that. Sorry. I'm sorry. Oh no! I say I was just like I kind of like at the end of the day, kind of what it all matters to, like you know whether or not your your kid has a has a has a passion to do anything in life, or whether or not there's gonna be a bum. Kind of like you know, it depends how you're raised. Yeah, I mean like I mean like do, do you guys feel like your parents like raise you to like you know have like the, like the passion to like want to do things, not just like sit around all day and play Call of Duty? Yeah. My parents were uh, college doctor. I mean I'm Asian, so. Or, 
like like for me it's like my mom is it's always like you know the passion of like being your own like independent person and that typically means like you know having like your own business and she's always like push that idea on me like being like self-sufficient and like she's like my dad is an example like he has his own shop and it's like you know, she's her example like you know she does like her own little like you know business projects on the side so it's like kind of like you know yeah education's cool and all but you, you have to learn how to be self-sufficient i just like a pencil pusher yeah i think i would have to agree like especially like the way i was raised it was more like if you put like your mind into it then you can actually do it and you focus down on it and it's more of like hard work can hard work and passion can get you to a lot of places even like without education and really just to have like an open mind and always wanting to learn even if it's like a small thing like for example my dad like some like when we're, when sometimes when i have like conversations with him half the time i'm kind of like like some things that I learned like during school, like in college or something, I sometimes like, how does he know this? Because it's like something that's like, I guess school taught. And like, I sometimes, I'm, like, I'm amazed like with how many things he actually knows. But it's also like, like knowing him, like he, he's like such a hard worker. Like he started off like working like just for like his old boss. And then like over the years, he, of like i think he's worked over like 10 years in downtown la and it's like he's always been working in like the clothing district so it's like now instead of working for someone he has his own store and it's like like, like if you work hard enough then you can get you can literally get anything done but so like, like this whole conversation kind of brings up the other question like do you guys feel like college is like necessary no yeah, not everyone no. not every not, not everyone's fit for college or made to go to college I mean, I told my parents I wanted to pursue singing, you know, and they laughed in my face. So, I don't know. I mean, like, okay, like, mom, this is for you. College is very <laughs> necessary, mom. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> wink. It's like what I said. It's a checklist, honestly. It's like the, well, that's like the, the way typical I see path, or known as the typical yeah. safe mm-hmm. path, just in case like you don't know what to do. I was like, I said, moving on. Like, did you have any other questions? Um, Brandon, anything else? Or like, Brandon? Oh, wait. What is everybody majoring? I, guess, I, guess, I didn't. Okay, so I'm, I'm a comm major uh, with a business minor. I, I want to go to law school nice. for entertainment law. You're going to be our lawyer for this, for this podcast. Yeah, okay. so I mean, that's the plan. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, I mean, that's the plan. Moves, but, like, you know, moves. things change. Always. Christian? Uh, bio sci for to go to med school again. But, like, Hector. Ooh. Change. Things could change. Yeah, I mean, for, for all we know, this podcast exactly. could hit it off and I won't ever need to work again. So. <laughs> That's the goal. Well, didn't you, what you guys say you guys would still like I, do what you were doing? I know Isaac said he'd still do it, like he'd finish with his education, even if this podcast got really big. Yeah, that, that, yeah. That, Isaac was the one who said that. So well, I my major is physics. And I wanted to. <laughs> I wanted to do like like um, astrophysics, well, like Albert Einstein, but no. Like this photo I took over on Thanksgiving break, Nebula, the Rhine Nebula, but um, Concordia doesn't offer that. Yeah, yeah, astrophysics, but like Concordia doesn't offer that, so it's just oh, physics. Transfer you to your like, no, it's still, I recommend you. It, you can take my place. No, but no, but it's it's still like something I want to do. Okay, like even if astrophysics never like, because to get a job in astrophysics, I feel like it's kind of hard especially for like photography but like if i want like say i want to get like a car with or a job working with cars i could get it with physics too like um in testing like the cars on collision for like the safety and stuff like that i still find that interesting yeah, i'll be the one next isaac's gonna instead of putting a dummy I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> isaac you can put at concordia since the litter, you'd be you'd be the only person teaching you'd get all the money <laughs> I teach like everything math or physics based. Yeah. Well, like, the thing, the thing about physics, like you could almost do anything that has like math. Like it doesn't have to be cars. It could be like planes, guns, weapons. Um, like. Just, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> no, like, like, just like for. <laughs> yeah, this math. Right Nuclear, like, it's it's all physics. <laughs> Man, so much <laughs> gonna come out calling for you. Oh my god! Okay, we're talking about school now. That reminds me, 
you guys know about Chegg, right? Yes. Yeah. Cool. We don't. We don't. We we don't, we don't talk about that. That's not secret. Brandon. <clears throat> Wait, okay, well, but before we go, Brandon, wait, what, what, what did you do? Ideally, it's to become a PT, like a physical therapist, or probably a coach, like a soccer coach or something, or like just like a trainer. But I don't know. Hey, they won a they won a championship this past season, so. Yeah, Brandon's gonna go continue to verb next to but. All right, but we'll okay, move, so uh, Chegg, back to your question. So apparently, um, Chegg is like reporting to like the schools about which students are using Chegg, and some of the students are getting like completely like dropped out, failed from the class because like they're cheating. Even if they're just using it for homework, I mean, they're cheating, and then they like get the zero immediately. I mean, that is true, but I mean, like it. You're, I mean, it's like it's kind of like saying like it's like who's more to blame, like the drug <laughs> user or the drug dealer. Chegg is Chegg being the for drug using dealer. the same information. I mean, I know, like you know, cheating isn't cheating; it's just using the <laughs> resources. Like, like I mean, like I mean, like you know, if it's there, use it. I mean, like no one's stopping. Yeah, no counselor listening to this. It. I mean, it doesn't even matter. Some teachers use other I mean, teachers' like worksheets. Yeah, and, and, so, and you can argue the same thing. I mean, all, all the teachers I've met so far have, you all, know? have all used their own worksheets. Yeah, how do you know? <laughs> because, because, you know because they put their copyright at the bottom. <laughs> they could Photoshop it in. <laughs> that is true. I, mean, but I would assume, like, I would trust them. Well, because, because there was one class. It was like it was like pretty much like like stats business but using stats and pretty much like i would try searching up the problem like nothing similar would come up and i was like okay, this guy definitely made it himself <laughs> yeah, ucsd if you're listening please i'm next sorry episode, next episode so i was just talking about how we all got expelled <laughs> next episode hector transfer schools i uh, going to concordia Ooh, we can't record in the second in the same way oh, yeah, oh. We, 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 we all we all get a <laughs> we, we all get an Irvine house. Yeah, that'd be fun. Dude, it's expensive. I mean, I mean, I, I think it. I, I mean, like, I think most four guys, one bedroom apartment. Now. <laughs> 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 yeah. but, I mean, that, that's what we could afford. But I think like <laughs> no, things are looking like. <laughs> but, but but speaking of living in the same house, like this, like. It's actually like a preview of like the future. We were thinking of getting like a cabin in Big Bear and doing a show there with, with all the snow and like you know, we could like record our shenanigans. That'd be fun. I, I do I really doubt uh, Big Bear's probably doing uh cabins this year because of COVID, but we're gonna look into it. No, they're probably all booked anyways. Oh yeah, true. Like that's like booked those months in advance. I'm pretty sure we're late anyways. But those but those are those are things for the future. Yeah. Should we just end it here then? Yeah, I'm not questions. Yeah. Uh all right, so um, I'm gonna end the first stream. So I should say, thank you guys for watching another episode of the Simple. You know, this was you know Hector, Brandon, Christian, Isaac, and our very special guest, Min. Min, you are a friend of the show, so you're always welcome back whenever you, thank whenever you, you want thank to. Thank you, thank you, thank you for having me. I had a great time. Is there anything you want to plug, Min? Do you do? You, yeah. Do you oh, um, plug? follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. I. I don't know how I'm supposed to like plug it all in because they're all different, but I, I don't know. Yeah. I'll edit it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll just put it like in the description. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>